What's good, YouTube? It's Aquarius of Earth and Prophecy. And, um, you know, I had to, you know, register this all in my brain yesterday on what went down. Now, obviously, um, I'm not going to sit here and say who won the trade, you know, because every, everything is not finalized yet, you know what I'm saying? But once everything is finalized... Nobody won the trade, to be honest with you. You know? Uh, you know, I might come off as, you know, you know, uh, a little bit, you know, cocky, but nobody actually won this trade. You know? Um I mean Victor Aladipo, um, you know, Dante and a few other draft picks. Um the Rockets got you know, uh, the Cavaliers got um, uh, Harris and some other dude and a few draft picks. The Nets got James Harden in the in in this year's you know unprotect unprotect unprotected pick. Uh, so listen, okay, so. The Nets, right? They gave up half their roster to get James Harden. This kind of reminds me of the Carmelo Anthony trade, you know, where the Knicks gave up half their roster to get one guy, you know. Now, obviously, we don't know how this is going to play out, you know what I'm saying, because we still got Kyrie coming back, you know. And James Harden... What he lacks in defense, he makes up for it in his shooting, right? Kyrie, like same thing. What he lacks in his defense, he makes up for his shooting. KD, KD can play defense when he wants to, if he wants to. I'm not saying that KD is a bad defender, but he just gives 100% on his offense plurality sometimes. None of those guys can play defense. Now, they can obviously do what the Rockets did and go small and still find a way to win. You know, you, if you look at Miami Heat a couple of years ago, they went small. They didn't even have a great center. You know, they had average best defenders. You know, I think Joel Anthony was uh, the only defender that they had, but he was way down in the depth charts, you know what I'm saying? Um, but obviously it worked, you know? They didn't have a great rim protector and teams, you know, key in on that, you know what I'm saying? But as long as they had LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, they would be fine, you know what I'm saying? So I just think that people just need to chill out. You know what I'm saying? Because I was watching, you know, uh, a favorite, you know, Knicks YouTuber of mine. And, you know, uh, there was people calling in and saying that, well, people in the East got to load up. People in the East got to pair up. This and that. Like, y'all acting like the damn, y'all acting like the Nets won stuff, won anything. The Nets haven't won a championship since I was in diapers. You know, that's how bad that organization is. You know, they went from New Jersey to New Jersey. Actually, they went from New Jersey to Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Required a whole bunch of talent. Didn't do nothing with it. The next following year, or the three next following years, they accumulated talent. Didn't do anything with it. Got, you know what I'm saying? So, it's the same dance, same routine. You know? Like, nothing's going to come out of this. Nothing. You know? Like, it's not like, it's not... It's not that who's going to take the last shot because we all know they can shoot. You know what I'm saying? So taking the last shot, they don't necessarily care who takes the last shot. As long as the bucket, as long as the shot goes in. You know what I'm saying? But does this look bad on my team? Does this look bad on the Knicks? Because the Knicks obviously could have easily gotten a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like imagine if Kyrie and KD went to the Knicks instead of the Brooklyn Nets. How would this look on the Knicks? How bad does this look on the Knicks? 
Now the Knicks are looking. Now the league is looking at the Knicks as a as a laughing stock because they cannot get any stars to come play here. You know, you know, they just got a whole bunch of you know young players and a few veterans on the team. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not gonna get it done at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean. I just think that, you know, people just need to slow down on this whole teaming up together thing. Like, it's James Harden, okay? <laughs> it's James Harden. So, I'm not even going to, like, this is going to blow up in their faces bad. Real bad. Like, James Harden is a manipulator, okay? That's what he does. If he doesn't like anybody, he's going to fit and he's going to whine and he's going to complain well, you already got Kyrie or like you just got too much headaches, man. <laughs> you guys, you just got too much headaches, and people and people just have to understand the magnitude of of what just happened. You know what I'm saying? All they're just looking at is oh, how are they gonna fail? You know what I'm saying? Like they they like it's like they purposely want James Harden to fall flat on his face. If he fails, if he fails, then, hey, you know, I mean, the Nets swung and miss like they always do, you know? I mean, if you look at the years, and I'm going to bring this up again, when they moved to Brooklyn and in 2010, they had who? They had a pretty good roster when they moved to Brooklyn, you know? It wasn't a championship team, but they had a lot of depth, you know what I'm saying? A few years, a few years later, they had who a washed up KG, a washed up Paul Pierce past his prime. You know what I'm saying they had Terry. You know they got past the first round, and obviously they faced the Heat, and you know the rest was history. A few years later, again they had a D'Lo. You know what I'm saying they actually made the playoffs in 2016, I believe. Got bounced out in the second round. You know what I'm saying? And now we are here. Last year wasn't counting because obviously KD didn't play. So now that KD is in full strength, you got Kyrie Irving plus James Harden. Like, it's going to... Like, they're going to put up points. I'm not going to lie. They're going to put up massive points. You know what I'm saying? I think they can keep up with the likes of... You know, the Clippers, the Lakers, the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? I think they can, you know, vastly keep up with those teams, you know, because they have three of three of the top scoring champions. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's not like they all forgot how to, you know, put the bucket in the basket. You know what I'm saying? It's not that. It's just team, it's just team chemistry. You know what I'm saying? People saying that, well, James Harden and... And and, and, and and James Harden and KD play together. No, they didn't. James Harden was not even in that lineup, if you really think about it. It was Robinson. It was Wesley Westbrook. It was KD. It was Ibaka. Uh, sometimes it was Collinson and, or, or um, Kendrick Perkins. That was your starting five. James Harden came off the bench to obviously... You know, ignite them, gave them them like twenty or twenty five or twenty one points off the bench. Now maybe I was wrong. Maybe they probably did play together in scrimmage or practice, but that was a long time ago. That was from twenty nine. That was from two thousand nine all the way through two thousand twelve. You know what I'm saying? So people think like people thinking like, oh, this is my this this is might be the 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 the. the this might be the 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 West of Westbrook versus you know James Harden version all over again. You know what I'm saying? People are comparing it to when they had the big three in OKC. Listen, people might take this differently, but I just think that this is gonna feel bad, you know, because the Nets gave up half their rosters. It's not like they can go out and sign a cheap big man because. What big man is left available? You know? Like, they're going to have to reinsure their their bench. 
You know what I'm saying? Not that, you know, their bench wasn't really that great. It was, but they gave up half their bench. Or probably they gave up half their roster to get James Harden, who's only known for his offense paralysis. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like he's a great defender. He's not like it's not like he's Paul George or not, or something like if they would have gotten a Paul George, then you know, I wouldn't even be saying what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? Because Paul George, he's a great defender and he's a great scorer. But they got James Harden, who's just known for his scoring. You know, I mean, occasionally he'll play defense if he wants to. You know, but now that he's getting down in age, I mean, he's he, he's not going to focus all his attention on defense. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, man... If I had to pick a team who won this trade, I would say the Rockets. I would say the Rockets won this trade because they have Victor Oladipo plus John Wall plus Boogie Cousins, and they still have the same pieces that they had last year. You know what I'm saying? And then plus they have a few draft picks. So... I think the Rockets won this trade in a long haul. We'll see. You know, everything is not finalized yet. So, um, uh, again, you know, the Nets continue to disappoint Brooklyn. You know, and I'm from Brooklyn. You know, born and raised. You know what I'm saying? Flatbush Avenue, man. Like, this is the reason why I never considered this team to be a New York team. You know what I'm saying? Because they just do stupid crap like that. And they never want to invest in the future. You know what I'm saying? Like you send a a 22-year-old out of Allen, who is your best rim protector. Now you don't even got that. So players and teams are going to key in on that. Like, what, the Nets only got freaking Jordan? Like, who the hell is Jordan? Jordan is trash. Like, they're going to point... Teams are going to score at least 50 points in the paint. You know how that stats in 2K where, you know, you see how many points in the paint you gave up? Watch how teams attack that. Because without a rim protector, what are you? You know what I'm saying? So, it's not like, it's not. I'm not disrespecting, you know, uh, Jordan. I'm just saying, like, he's not the player that he once was when he was with the Clippers, you know what I'm saying? He's getting up there in age. It's not like you asking him to give you four or five blocks a game, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, even though he did his thing the other night, but I don't think he can keep it up like you think he can, you know what I'm saying? Uh, They're going to need another... I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just think that, you know, the Nets are going to be the Nets, you know, Overpricing, overpaying for 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 broken down players past their prime, because everybody in that team, everybody, all three of them are past their prime. KD's past his prime, um, you know, James Harden is past his prime, Kyrie's past his prime. You know what I'm saying? The only one that doesn't necessarily have a championship, obviously, is is James Harden, and I don't even think he's gonna get it with the Nets. You know what I'm saying? Like. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I think that, you know, the Knicks are doing it the best in the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, free free agencies don't have to come here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's their choice, it's their, it's their path. You know, if they don't want to come here, so be it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll, we'll create our own culture. You know what I'm saying? But we're not going to give up half our roster just for a guy whose liability just on offense, you know what I'm saying? Because James Harden is going to shoot the hell out of that ball. You know what I'm saying? James Harden, he is a willing passer at times, but he's going to shoot the hell out of that ball. And I just don't think what they're trying to do in Brooklyn is going to you know accumulate into wins. Now, like I said, they're going to make the playoffs. They're they're too talented not to make the playoffs. They're gonna make the playoffs, but it's not gonna go very well. They're they're probably gonna get bounced out the 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 either the semifinals 
or they're going to get bounced out the second round, in my opinion. Um, you know, that's just me, you know. Uh, you know, I hate the Nets. I never liked the Nets. You know, I wish they asked would stay back in New Jersey, but we all know why they left New Jersey to go to Brooklyn because nobody wanted to see them. They were trash. You know, they had the lowest attendance rate in the NBA history, you know? Like, who wanna go? Like who really want to go to New Jersey just to see the Nets? Like, people who, who live in Patterson or Riverdale, like, like, come on, man. Like, people, like, people need to get their ass out of their head sometimes, you know? Like, oh, no, like, who's going to stop the You know who can stop the Nets? Themselves. That's who can stop the Nets. Because when you have three big egos like that in one team, especially none of them know how... I'm not saying that they don't know how to play defense. It's just that they choose not to, you know? And when you in the deep, when you in the playoffs, you have to play defense. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to find yourself going down two and zero or three and zero. You know what I'm saying? So you have to play defense. Defense matters in the playoffs. You know, regular season you don't have to try to play defense, but the postseason is where it counts. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think Kyrie or or, or KD or James have it in them just to, you know, just to, you know, get out their, you know, comfort zone just to, you know, steal a ball or a diving ball or this or that, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're so focused on scoring, like, they're not really thinking that, like, okay, I should get this steal for my team and do this and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're just so worried about scoring that I think it's just going to score them, not score, but scorn, score them for for life. Um, but you know, I mean, like I said, man, you know, people are gonna overreact. People are gonna exaggerate. You know, it is what it is. You know, it's the Nets. You know, like people acting like the Nets won five championships and shit. Like they haven't won anything. You know, like how are you gonna crown a team that haven't won anything? You know, like come on, like. The Nets haven't won anything since, you know, the Lions won the last playoff game, <laughs> you know. The Nets haven't won a championship since the Browns won their last Super Bowl, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, I just think I, I, I just think people are just blowing shit out of proportion, you know what I'm saying. Like, they want this team to fail so bad that they're putting up memes and they joking around and they doing this and they doing that, you know. Like if he, if James Harden would have gone somewhere else, this wouldn't be breaking news to anybody, you know. If he went to Milwaukee, this wouldn't be breaking news, because I don't think Milwaukee would have been dumb enough to give up half their roster just to get James Harden, who's liability on defense, who doesn't play defense at all, you know. So. And he's not coming off the bench neither. So Kyrie is not coming off the bench neither. So, you know, he's like James Harden done that, been there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't see where I don't see where he fits in this offense, to be honest with you. You know? I mean, obviously you you got Mike D'Antoni who's obviously coached James Harden, so He knows how to utilize him. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I mean, it, it's just what it is, you know. Um, you know, I mean, is it a slap in the face to my Knicks? Yeah. You know, you know, I mean, imagine, you know, but again, the Knicks would have gave up half their roster just to get those guys. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, I don't know, but I just know one thing, man. The Nets are going to be the Nets. The Nets are going to be the Nets. Point point blank, period. It's sad, but that's just how it, how it is, you know? When you're in attack mode, when you in win-now mode, you have to give up everything and every. You have, you have to give up everything and anything just to be relevant. Like, what championships you know that the Nets have won? 
Nothing. They have nothing to show for. So I understand their mindset like it's a win now or not never. Because they're not thinking about the future. They're thinking about right now, you know. Like they like they signed Kyrie and, and KD to four years. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't know how long I think I think James Harden is probably gonna sign like a four or a three year deal. We'll see. But they in win now mode. You know what I'm saying? Like they can't afford to wait and develop rookies and do this and all that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they that's why they did the move that they did. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, same team, same same tune, same music. It's not gonna end the same. It's gonna end the same, I should say. So let me know who won the trade down below. Um like I said, I I I I, I think the Rockets actually won this trade. Now if the Rockets wind up being better than they were without James Harden, because we've seen the stats when James Harden scores more than 30 points, they like, you know, 11 and 1. You know, when James Harden scores less than that, they won in 22 or something like that. So we'll see how well James Harden, we'll see how the Rockets play without James Harden. That's why they added Boogie Cousins and John Wall. Now, I think John Wall... And Boogie Cousins can coexist better than when they had James Harden because they had a lot of chemistry together. You know what I'm saying? They both played from the same structure. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, meaning college, you know. Uh, they haven't really played together when they was in college, but obviously, you know, the Kentucky connection is still there. You know what I'm saying? So, um but yeah, man, we'll see. You know, and you know, I'll put ten dollars on that. That you know, not even ten dollars, but you know, I'll put my money where my mouth is and say the Rockets will have a better record than the Nets. Now I'm not saying that the Rockets are gonna win the championship, but you know, adding uh, Victor Oladipo. It helps, you know, because Victor, he's also a two-way player, you know. He can play defense and he can score, you know what I'm saying? But the risk factor is he gets injured a lot, you know. Like, he can never stay healthy. So, hopefully, he can stay healthy. And if he does, then the Rockets could be a four seed or three seed, you know what I'm saying? Or fifth seed. So, we'll see, you know. But the Nets, people might... People who think that the Nets are just going to mollywop through the whole East. No. No. They're not. They're not. They're just not. You know? Because they're going to give up so much on defense that they're not going to stop just to, okay, we need to adjust our game. You know? Like, it's just going to be a tit Tit for tat, tit for tat, tit for tat. You score, I score. You score, I score. So they're not even going to think about defense. You know what I'm saying? Because when teams are like when teams are in a shootout like that, it's very hard to even play defense. To be honest with you, you know, because he's so fixated on scoring a lot, scoring a lot, scoring a lot. As soon as you get back on defense, it's like, damn, shoot, I did all that scoring. Now I have to play defense. Like, it is what it is. But like, comment, subscribe. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself and uh, take care of yourself and each other. And I will put the video in the description box down below.